Uh, in today's live video, we will learn how to find IXXX and IYY of a beam under unsymmetrical bending. So this is unsymmetrical beam bending apparatus. So we have to find the IXXX and IYY of a C channel section under unsymmetrical bending. So the length of this, this beam is 475 mm and the wall thickness is equal to 12.5 mm and the thickness of the wall is equal to 2 mm and this beam is made of aluminium and the elastic modulus of aluminium is 69 gigapascal so so we will apply the load on this beam at different load and at, at different angle initially we will apply the load at zero angle then we will increase the increment at increment 22.5 and then we will apply the load at 45 degree so on till 180 degree and this apparatus consists of two gauges here you can see that this gauge is called this gauge will give the reading uh, which is in parallel to the direction of pull and the reading of this gauge is uh, is will be equal to perpendicular in the direction of pull so we call this the reading of this gauge is u and the reading of this gauge is v so initially first what we have to do we have to make zero both the gauges zero zero and the beam is right now at the load is uh, first initially we will apply load at zero at a zero angle so first I will place this one disc is equal to 10 gram so I will place the load in increment first I will place 50 so we are placing 50 gram load okay now we will note the reading of u1 and then u2 now we will further increase the load and place 50 gram load so the total load on the hanger is now 100 gram and again we will note the value of both the deflection gauges u1 and u2 we will further place 50 gram newton so the total load newton sorry gram load so the total weight on the hanger is now 150 newton and in the same way we will note the deflection gauge u1 reading and v reading now we will unload this beam after unloading we will lose the screw of this cantilever beam from the top and bottom and give it an angle increment of 20 2.5 so here we can see that's how we change the angle so now again we will fix the screw at top and bottom and we will apply the load in the same manner and first we will zero the gauges okay now we will first apply the 50 gram, 50 gram load and then we will measure the deflection gauge reading u1 and v1 and then we will increase the load to 100 gram and then again we will measure the both the gauges reading and f and till uh, then again we will increase the load uh, to 150 gram and read the noting of both the gauges and after uh, completing after placing 150 gram we will unload it and in the same manner we will lose the screw from top and bottom and will change the angle of this beam to 45 degree and again tight the board the screw at top and bottom and will place the load in three increment 50 gram 100 gram and 150 gram and at each load increment we will note the deflection gauge reading so we will 
change the angle of uh, this uh, cantilever beam at an, an, an angle and an increment of 22.5 till 180 degree and at each load uh, angle increment we will measure the deflection gauge reading at the end we will find dv divided by dp and du by dp and from those value we will draw the mohr circle from the mohr circle we will experimentally find the ix axis and iyy thank you that's all from my side allah face